Finance Ministers Dravko Maric and National Bank Governor Boris Vujicic, who are participating in the spring meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, are expected to meet with investors in Boston and New York at the beginning of the week. Governor Vujicic said that experts in Washington have positively assessed the work of the Croatian National Bank, but added that while Croatia has emerged from the recession, it still needs to implement structural reforms to ensure GDP growth to counteract the high level of public debt. Maritime Affairs Transport and Infrastructure Minister Oleg Butkovic has confirmed that negotiations on the refinancing of Croatia's 1.8 billion euro loan taken out to build its highways are underway with the World Bank. The new terms should be concluded by the end of the year. Butkovic added that on Friday contractors were selected for the construction of a bridge over the Sava River near Slavonski Brod in eastern Croatia at the border with Bosnia-Herzegovina. Works are expected to begin this summer. He also said that a draft law on the construction of the Pelješac Bridge connecting southern Croatia with the rest of the mainland is in the works and should be in government procedure very shortly. Government representatives did not attend a meeting with their union counterparts scheduled for this morning. Union representatives boycotted last week's meeting claiming that government had not fulfilled the conditions necessary for holding negotiations. The two sides are trying to work out a solution to an agreement between unions and the previous government by which public sector workers would receive a 6% increase on their base salary if the economy saw two consecutive quarters of at least 2% growth. A new meeting has been scheduled for April 25th. First, Deputy Prime Minister Tomislav Karamarko and representatives from eight ministries met with representatives of veterans associations at the Veterans Affairs Ministry today. Veterans have been protesting in front of the ministry for more than 550 days, demanding that government address the problems they are facing and clearly define their status. Veterans Minister Tomo Medved said after the meeting that they had agreed to draft a law that would encompass all veterans' rights. He added that they had also agreed with veterans to bring an end to the relativization of victim and aggressor in the homeland war, strengthen support systems for disabled war veterans, and to intensify the search for missing persons from the Serb aggression in the 1990s. The largest party in parliament and the leader of the governing coalition, the HDZ, held inter-party elections yesterday. Incumbent party president Tomislav Karamarko was the only candidate for the post and on the basis of a one-delegate, one-vote system, was re-elected to another four-year mandate. At the World Rowing Cup in Varese, Italy, brothers Valent and Martin Sinkovic continued to dominate in the men's double skulls discipline, taking the gold medal. Fellow Croatian Damir Martin also won gold in the single skulls. In Group B of the Division I Hockey World Championships being held in Zagreb, Croatia lost to Great Britain 4-1 in Zagreb last night. Their next game is against Ukraine at 8 o'clock tonight. Moderate to heavy cloud cover this afternoon with isolated showers, especially in the interior where there could be some thunderstorms. There will be a mild to moderate southeasterly on the coast. Highs will be between 18 to 23 degrees Celsius, up to 26 degrees in eastern Slavonia and southern Dalmatia. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for more cloud cover and rain on Tuesday, with skies beginning to clear in the afternoon. Predominantly dry and sunny on Wednesday and Thursday. Expect cooler temperatures in the mornings. The coast will also see overcast skies and isolated showers on Tuesday morning. Predominantly sunny on Wednesday. Strong to gale forced northeasterly winds will die down by Wednesday evening and shift to a northwesterly. 